Hi, thank you for checking out this video. As always, I must remind you this is not advice, it's just showing you what I do and to entertain you basically from all my gaffes. It's been a long time since I made a video. The length of time has nothing to do with a loss of interest in crypto and, and, and really BitTrue and BTR. In fact, I'm even more excited about it because they have their BitTrue has a new yield coin. It's called BMAX. It will be a reward token. I expect to see some good yield farming coming up with that fairly soon. I know a bunch of a bunch of um, yield farms are going to be maturing on the 9th, about five days from now. So it'll be interesting, interesting to see what comes out then. I haven't done very many videos or haven't done any videos the last two months because quite frankly, it just hasn't been that exciting. We've been on a downturn for a long time, um, but you know, I still continue to make money while I lose money. And the way I do that is through passive income, which I call Massive Passive, which is basically from BitTrue using the votes and the yield farms. I basically just been in yield farms and that basically keeps me dormant for 32 days. One day before the farm, one day after the farm, and a 30 days in the middle. And I earn a lot of money from that. In fact, if you look at this feature right here, from the current farms I'm in, I'm scheduled to make $13,510, earning 52.59%. So, before when I made videos more often, it's because they had the BTR vote, which I still love, but the BTR vote takes more work. I, I'm not saying that correctly. It's not that it's hard work or anything. It's just it's more day-to-day -day things to do. Get your rewards daily. Then you sell whatever you want to sell into or swap whatever you want to swap into or decide to stay there. And, you, and each day's rewards change. So that created a lot of video content. With this 32-day gap, it's just 32 days. So there's really nothing to do in the middle. That's the reason for the slowdown in the videos. I am going to go over something that's not bit true today, though, and that's Songbird. I, I'm not an expert on Songbird. Some people say, ah, oh, this coin's going to zero. Some say it's going to two bucks. I think it's going to be somewhere in the middle. I think within a year. I don't know if I say I think or I just hope. It'll go to 50 cents. I'm buying a lot of Songbird because of the weekly epoch. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it's, it's earning me roughly 32% right now. And if that price doubles, I'll be making a lot of money. Um, so I'm going to show how to do that in this video. But first, I'm going to go through the time machine here. I'm gonna. This is going to go by quickly. So I'm going to do super fast mode. And you could, I would say, focus on this area right here when you're watching this because it is going to go fast. And it will show you the difference in value that changes throughout the course of, of since I've been doing this particular spreadsheet. Some of it makes me cry. But again, it doesn't really make me cry because I'm still earning passive income at a high level. To make money when you lose money is, is nice. Very, very nice. But let's do this before we get to the Songberg stuff. So remember, look in this area. In a moment, it's going to get really fast. And you can look at other things, how balances change and all that, if you watch it a, sep a second time, or how prices change. Here's the price of BTR, for example, how that goes on. But here's the fast speed. I'm going to shut up now while we watch this. Shut up and vape. Root bear vape. This is going to go up to like 670000 at some point. So I've lost almost $300,000 in value. And I'm not I'm not upset. It's That's the weirdest thing about it to me. I know it's coming back. In the meantime, I'm stuffing my bags with massive passive income. Songbird, I don't call massive passive. I keep that strictly for BitTrue because... The percent I earn at BitTrue is unbelievable, plus they started it, so that's why BitTrue is massive passive. But Songberg is passive income, and it's good passive income at that. So actually, the total amount shifted over here a little bit to the right, so this kind of shows you when I make changes on this spreadsheet. So this is going back in March. And that is it for this update. Not this video, but this area. 
let's just do a quick update on what's going on currently. So currently I'm scheduled $13,510. I'm trending towards that in about five days from now. I will sell the majority of my yield farm rewards. I don't know if I'm going to sell the majority. It depends on what happens with the price of coins by then. If the prices go way up by then, I'm most likely to cash out. If they go down, I will buy a lot. So I've actually gained $10 in passive revenue, while at the same time losing $222 in total value. Now let's get over to Songberg. I do this from my computer. Uh, so I have um, an emulator here, and I'm running Android. I'm going to just go, even though I don't have anything under Songbird here, I'm going to go ahead and click this. So the way I do this, and this part I'm not going to show you, is I will buy Songbird from Bitru. I will send it from Bitru to Songbird. I just click, quickly click Receive, and this is the Bifrost Wallet, B-I-F-R-O-S-T. And I will just copy this address. I'll go into Bitru and put in the address and send it out here. You guys have all done that before. If not, find a way to be able to do it um, with another video or we'll figure it out. That's not what this this, this education is about. So once I have my Songberg here, it'll take a minute to show up. I come over here and I click Wrap. I'll typically click, click Max. I'm not going to wrap anything here because I basically have everything wrapped. I will always leave at least a half of, in between the, a half of one up to two in my balance because you need to have you need to have a balance here to transact. So I always keep you know one half to one or one half to two in your Songbird wallet after you wrap them. Anyhow, you click max and you go through the process and make sure you press OK. Whatever. We're not going to do that step here. And then once you're here, go back. To, once you wrap them, go back to the beginning and click on Wrapped Songberg. Now, from there, go to Delegate. I already have these delegated, so there's really nothing for me to do here. In fact, in, I'm, right now I ha I've earned 1,054.65 Songberg, and I still have three days um, and three hours and 23 minutes to go before I can actually claim these. And once that time comes, I hit claim, and now I have that many more Songberg. And then I'll go back to the Songberg page, I'll wrap them, and now they're going to be collecting interest as well for the following week. But if this is the first time you set it up, you want to set a, um, a delegate. I'm not going to get too deep into this, other than to say this might change. There's a website you'll want to look at. I don't have it handy here. I will put it in the description of this video. And basically, the provider you want to use here, you want to make sure it's the voting power is below 10%. And that's what you're going to de delegate to. I, again, I can't show you. Here's all the ones you can delegate to. And these will be on the list. This, the, the first one is the one I'm in right now. Anyhow, at the end of the week, that's how you that's how you collect. And you just keep doing, going this on and on. As I said, I have been earning. Let's look at it here. Where am I keeping them? This is, hey, this is when I was figuring out what was going on. Here's actually since I really got involved in doing the delegations. So here's what I've been earning each week. So last week was 1,462. If we match the percentage of last week or come around then, there we'll earn this many free SGB, so that'd be 84 bucks. So I'm close to $400 a month on this. Anyhow, that is how you do Songberg. It's not an exhaustive 
explanation, but it should get you pointed in the right direction. Before we go, let's do one more update. I think we went up two more dollars in earnings and went down another $98, at least on BitTrue value. That's the video for now. Thank you for watching. And if you dislike this video, be sure you don't forget to smash that dislike button. Hope you guys are all having a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.